All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Thursday, February 15th, Slate of Games. Trey, let's take a look at our leaderboard. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went 1-0 and on the game picks. That's because I gave out Detroit Mercy, minus 5.5 against IUPUI. And Detroit Mercy, they honestly dominated in this game. They whooped IUPUI's butt by 15 points. And it was a 15-point game very early in that game. And then they just cruised for the rest of it. Uh, sucks that you lost your quarter unit, uh, but I'll be waiting for the comment. And Ken Palm, apparently they're worth something. They ain't coming back. They will not be commenting in the comment section. I guarantee you that. Uh, we swept the board. I gave out Auburn minus 11 and a half. They won by 40, 101 to 61. The line felt weird. It was weird. They won by 40 points. That's it. We swept the board. Trails go to the player props. I'll be starts off. Yep. And uh, crash back to reality. So maybe mm. I shouldn't be so cocky. That's because I was 0 and 1. I gave out Tyson Walker over 60 and a half points versus Penn State. And Walker, he did not play great at all in this game. He only scored six points. He only got up eight shots which was the fourth most on the team. There was four other starters that shot up more shots in this game. He was just not aggressive. Tough to watch. Yeah, and I had a 1-0 day on the player props. I gave out Jameer Young of Maryland to go over 20.5 points going up against the Hawkeyes. I was hooked by Emmanuel Miller. I was hooked by Telford. Thought I was going to get hooked here, but a technical foul was called really late in the game, under 20 seconds. Jameer Young, he knocked both down, scored 21 points in the game. So we did go 1-0. Thank you, Jameer Young. Thank you for the technical foul. Let's move on to the group play from yesterday. We swept the board there. Clemson, minus seven and a half. Trey, did you get a chance to watch the end of this game? I didn't see the end, but I saw the box score. It was a blowout. I will let you know how the end ended. 22 to three one run by Clemson in the last six minutes of the game to cash the minus seven and a half for us. We both go one and zero. We're doing really well on these picks as well. Trey, let's go to the group play for tomorrow. Big game, big, big game, and I love this game. Stanford going on the road to take on Washington. Washington minus four, over under 160. Have you started? Yeah, I agree. This is going to be a very, very fun game to watch. Both these teams, they've been kind of flying under the radar in the Pac-12, and I feel like they kind of deserve some respect. And uh, both teams, they kind of attack in different ways. Uh, Stanford, they are elite from behind the arc. And Washington, they're just kind of do everything right. There's nothing that they really do elite, but they're still a good team. But I got to take Stanford here. I'm going to take Stanford here, plus four. They are just very fun to watch. And we've seen them, them... play hard against great teams and show up here on the road as well. Cause whenever you look at their road record, it's three and four, which is honestly pretty good in the pac 12 whenever they have to travel up and down the coast. And I think that they're going to enjoy playing against this Washington team. Uh, Cause Washington, if we look at how they've been playing here recently, yes, they did just be Oregon state and, uh, but they got whooped by Oregon and Washington state. So I have a lot of confidence in this Stanford play. I expect them to show up here and make their three pointers. That's what this game's going to come down to in Washington. Their, de- their defense is kind of no bueno. Yeah, I agree with everything you said. The defense is pretty even. The offense is pretty even. The difference is going to be, can Stanford make their threes? They made 13 in the first game between these two teams, and they won that game by 10 at Stanford. Yeah, you said Washington beat Oregon State. Oregon State's one of the worst teams in the Pac-12, so that doesn't mean much. Stanford, on the other hand, they got a big win against USC on Saturday night. They made 19 threes in that game. They were up by 30 points in that game as well. They then played Arizona, had them on the ropes into the second half, and they blew it down the stretch. UCLA also had them on the ropes, but UCLA has been playing really good basketball. Nick Cronin's got his guys ready for March. I like Stanford here. I think they're going to win the game outright. We're going to take them plus four as a play. Trey, let's go to the plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be breaking down this Wichita State going up against East Carolina game, and I'm honestly very excited to watch this game, even though both teams have kind of had below average seasons so far. In Wichita State, they're having an epic down year. They enter this game with a 10 and 14 record. They're also 8, 13, and 1 ATS. And the Shockers, they are 1 and 6 on the road this season. So they cannot cover games and they are abysmal on the road. In East Carolina, they come in this game with a 12 and 12 record. And they are 10, 12, and 1 ATS. And the Pirates, they are 9 and 7 at home. They play significantly better at home compared to on the road. So I have to take the home team here in this game. I love that this line is just so small. Give me East Carolina here on the money line. These two teams, they've already played once this year, and it was about a month ago, and it was at Wichita State. And East Carolina, they won that game by two points. And with them being at home here in this game, I feel like they're going to be a lot more comfortable. So they should be able to match exactly what they did last game. (laughs) This Wichita State team, they are just bad. They have blown leads throughout this season. Second half, big double-digit leads blown. And they've also gotten blown out of games as well. And whenever we factor into this East Carolina Team, They have a very good defense. They're ranked in the top 100 in a lot of defensive categories, and I think that's going to rear its head in this game. So I'm going to be taking the home team to control this game from tip-off to buzzer. Give me East Carolina here on the money line versus Wichita State. 
Yeah, sure, I like that play there. We're going to stay in the American Conference for my game. SMU going on the road to take on the Green Wave in Tulane. SMU, the small favorite on the road. Give me those Mustangs to beat up on Tulane in this game. SMU minus two and a half as the play. SMU is the better team. They're on the road. I understand that. It's on the road. Very tough environment. Probably going to going up against Tulane. Uh, but they're just the better team. They are better defensively. They're better offensively. And they are much more efficient on both sides of the ball as well. They're also coming into this game with a four-game winning streak, beating a couple good teams, North Texas, UAB. Tulane was one of those teams in the four-game winning streak. And people are going to look at that SMU game against Tulane the first time around. They're going to see the Green Wave only lost by four points on the road. They're going to take them in this game, and that's going to be a mistake. This is a different SMU team coming into this game because they've won four games in a row. And give and going into that game against Tulane, they had dropped back-to-back against North Texas and Wichita State. They're playing their best basketball of the season right now. And the only game that Tulane has won over the last five games was against a really bad Temple team. They lost to Charlotte on their home floor as well. That was their four-point favorite in that game. SMU is not going to lose this game. They're coming off the game against North Texas. They had to rally back to win that game. They were very good in the second half. They're going to roll in here to the plane. They're going to beat the crap out of them. Give me Mustangs on the road, minus two and a half as the play. Trez, the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, I'm going to be fading one of my players that I've backed a lot this season. Give me Dawson Garcia to go mm-hmm. under his points going up against Purdue. I really love this under for Garcia in this game because we're going to see him struggle throughout this one, which sucks because, like I said, I really love Garcia but in my opinion, he's going to have his hands full in this road game. That's because he's going to be locked up by massive human beings, Zach Eady here. And last season was Garcia's first year at Minnesota. So he played Purdue twice. And <laughs> Garcia, he only averaged six points per game, and which was well below his 15.3 point per game average last year. So we just have to expect him to struggle again here in this one. Dawson Garcia, he's very athletic. He's not that big of a center. As you guys can see in the picture, he's pretty skinny. And that's not what you want to do or have going up against Zach Eady, who is, what, seven foot four, 280, 300 pounds. He is just a massive human. And whenever we factor in that this is going to be a road game, like I said, he's going to be traveling the hostile Purdue territory. And especially uh, since Garcia is Minnesota's only scorer, I think Purdue is going to have him kind of targeted throughout this game to make sure he's not the one who burns them. Uh, and Garcia, he has struggled significantly against Zach Eady. So I just got to hope that it's going to continue here again in this game. Give me Dawson Garcia under his points versus Purdue. Yeah, Trey, I like that play there. For my player prop today, I'm going to be looking at Boo Booey to go over 19.5, maybe 18.5 points going on the road against the Rutgers. The Scarlet Knights are coming off back-to-back-to-back wins, beating Michigan and Maryland on the road before coming back home and beating Wisconsin by 22 points. This is a team you really don't want to mess with right now against the spread, especially when they're playing at home. But Boo Booey, he's fantastic on the road for Northwestern. He's scoring 17.1 points per game. On the road this season, shooting 41.9% from deep as well in those games. And this Wildcats team, they're still fighting for a Big Ten title, sitting a couple games outside the top. But they're wanting to go into Rutgers here and try to win this game. They only have two wins on the road this season, and that's why they're the underdog in this spot. And that's why I'm going to take Boo here to go over his points because they're going to need him to put him 20-plus points if they want to win this game. This season, he scored 18-plus points in nine of his 12 conference games. And I expect him to score another 18-plus points in this game, even though he's going up against a really tough Rutgers team. Northwestern needs their best player to have a great game. So give me Boo Booey over his total points against Rutgers as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphics. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went with East Carolina here on the money line versus Wichita State. I mean, it's it's a home game for the Pirates in Wichita State. They're just kind of abysmal this season. It's tough to watch. A massive fall from Grace, and they've been brutal on the road. So I expect them to lose this game as well. I'm also going with Dawson Garcia under his points versus Purdue. He struggles mightily against Zach Eady, and we just have to expect that to continue. Yeah, I'm going to take SMU minus two and a half here. I think it's going to be an ass kicking. I like the number here for SMU minus two and a half on the road. And then Boo Booey over his total points against Rutgers. Again, Rutgers, tough place to play, tough defense to play, but they need their best player to put in 20 plus points. I like Boo Booey to step up and get the job done over his total points in that game. Guys, that's going to do it for the NCAA basketball plays and props for Thursday, February 15th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video and thanks for watching. Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want. NBA, NFL, college basketball, it doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it Pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. 
So obviously the intro is not going to have plays for today, but these are plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus two and a half, the Heat minus five, Quinnipiac minus four and a half, and Wisconsin minus ten and a half. Those are trades in myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday, every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so four to three, six to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're going to do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're going to get our, I don't know how we're going to get our cheddar, but uh, you guys are just going to have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully, everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 